Welcome to Backlog Quest, where we dive through the dumpsters of our gaming libraries like a... Like a what? Oh no, a raccoon stole my line! Oh no! <sighs> well, probably what I meant to say there is we dive through our gaming libraries like a raccoon in search of dinner in order to bring you, yes you, the choicest gaming morsels. Old adventure games occupy a special place in the hearts of us. Studios like Sierra, LucasArts, and Westwood stimulated our senses with beautiful pixel art and sensational soundtracks, bent our brains with challenging puzzles, rooted us to our screens with witty writing or terrifying tales, and sometimes even gave us enough pirate jokes to fill Davy Jones's locker. Recent years have seen indie studios tapping deep into this nostalgia, sometimes with spectacular results. One of these latest efforts is Backbone, the debut title from small indie developer Eggnut, and the subject of today's backlog quest. My name is Boss Sauce, and I love adventure games like a raccoon loves yesterday's pizza. And I'm Rolling Coons, and together, we, we are, are the, the Two-Headed two Hero. Backbone's premise places players in the fuzzy little feet of Howard Lotor a second-rate private eye tasked by a grief-stricken wife with tracking down her unfaithful otter of a husband. When the search takes Howard into the bowels of a trendy nightclub and the adulterous husband turns up as cold cuts, the plot thickens even more, like a discarded cup of chicken gravy. <laughs> yeah, in the trash. Like a raccoon. Our rascally raccoon detective is drawn into a deep conspiracy, one with consequences that could shake the very foundations of this furry society. I mean, we're talking cannibalism, apocalypse, Canada, all sorts of weird shit. Back in our preview video, we praised Backbone Prologue for its gorgeous pixel aesthetic, detailed environments, and charming character designs, even though personas are not normally my thing on weekdays. These sentiments still largely carry over to the full game, which oozes style from every handcrafted pore. Both major and minor characters are simple by design, but have excellent detail and animation that gives a sense of individuality. The environments overlap 2D and 3D elements to create a 2.5D parallax effect with a ton of depth, and it uses a mix of modern lighting and water effects to good, uh, effect. Backbone tosses together a mishmash of different, noir-feeling visual styles. The appropriately shadowy pixel art, the illustrated motion graphics that hail from a tradition of movie, poster, and comic art, and the Unreal Engine lighting, reflections, particle and water effects are lumped together into a sort of noir collage stew. I like the stew. It's tasty. There's a concept in comics called masking. Essentially, the more cartoonish a face is, the more our brains will fill in the details. If a character is particularly abstract, we'll mentally place ourselves into it. Pixel art is built to capitalize on the masking effect. Our brains lump the little squares into shapes and translate them into living, breathing characters for us. Combining this with the realistic VFX further builds upon this idea. A very realistic environment, coupled with a very cartoony character, gives us the sense of being in the environment ourselves. I think this is the true masterstroke at the core of Backbone's art style. Speaking of style, while there's little to no sound effects throughout Backbone's runtime, the soundtrack's mix of trip-hop jazz goes above and beyond to mesh together the art deco noir themes of the game and helps drive home the mood. Dan Shin and Aruj Aftab have really made a standout score, and I really hope I didn't butcher your names. And the addition of lyrics during certain key moments served to transcend Backbone into an art form. With all this style, it's a shame that Backbone's a little thin on substance. While it's billed as a modern take on the classic point-and-click adventures of old, it's light on puzzle design. Over the game's four-hour runtime, Howard's inventory fills up with flavor items that have no purpose other than having a couple of lines of text to look at. The puzzles and stealth sequences that are present can be counted on your fingers, and none of them provide much of a challenge, but they are pretty enjoyable. I still really like the sequences that have Howard playing with trash or climbing around on rooftops, and I wish the game leaned a little further into the raccoon activities element. 
Maybe some puzzles where he has to wash off all of his food before eating it or avoid getting hit by a car. What about if he has to dodge a broom from someone trying to get him out of their compost bin? You know, that'd be a good minigame. I'm just thinking about Little Raccoon Fingers. Anyway, while a few sections have short alternate paths, Howard mostly meets his destiny in a straight line. This gives Backbone more of a visual novel or walking simulator feel. Backbone is heavy on text, and what's there is pretty well written. Many of the characters are morally gray and multidimensional. Howard himself is a very interesting protagonist. He's not a superhero. Instead, he reacts realistically to the game's gruesome horrors and trauma. He's a every raccoon thrown into an extraordinary situation. Length and linearity are joined by a couple other shortcomings. The controller support is sometimes unresponsive in some of the puzzle sections. There's also a decent number of typos scattered in the dialogue. But all in all, it's minor polish stuff. Considering the glorious quality of the rest of Backbone's presentation, it does stick out a little bit like a sore paw. Without getting into spoiler territory, there's a major twist around the halfway point that shifts the tone considerably, and a lot of new questions get raised while others go unanswered. No spoilers! No spoilers! Screw that! It's me, the spoiler skeleton! You're probably watching this here review and wondering why this is a eh, scary game. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm about to spoil the ever-loving shit out of this here game, so buckle up, you little bitches! You can distill the moment that Backbone switches genres right here, in this secret lab. Howard gains access to the lab by coercing a scientist at gunpoint where he encounters a mysterious alien artifact and makes the fateful mistake of tapping on the glass. Never tap on the glass, you fool! The artifact, of course, breaks free, merging with Howard's body and mind as he blacks out in what appears at first to be a dreamlike parade sequence. Only later is it revealed that Howard's actions are not always his own, and he poses a real danger to the friends and allies he's made along the story's path. For those expecting a gritty fursona heavy detective story, this sudden twist into body horror probably comes at you like a jarring 90 degree turn. Smash! Smash bang into the wall! Well that may be true, but I believe it might actually be a low-key masterstroke. Especially in its execution. The remainder of the game, down to dialogue, all does a great job of capturing Howard's creeping dread of becoming something absolutely alien and unknown. And no matter how much the player rails against it, his grisly fate is inevitable. The game's cliffhanger ending hammers this point home, leaving the player with a sharp pang of loss and a lot of unanswered questions as the credits roll on by. There's no happy ending here. Story threads are left dangling like loose ball hair in the breeze, and the socio-political future of post-apocalyptic furry Vancouver remains up in the air. Despite all this, Backbone still ends with a strong smell that something more, something big, is yet to come. ha cha 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 cha, -cha! The developers have made it clear that they had a specific story to tell. And they told it, or at least part of it. It seems this is not the last we'll be seeing of the Backbone universe, and I'd love to know more about the bigger picture that the game hints at. Any problems aside, I still highly recommend it for casual point-and-click fans that want to strap into their chairs for an evening and enjoy a unique world, as long as you don't mind an untidy resolution. So, have you played Backbone? Are there any raccoon-based games out there that haven't seen a fair shake in the video game community? Leave us a comment. And again, thank you for watching. If you like what we do here, don't forget to like and sub. Sub as in submarine sandwich. Yeah. Ha cha 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 cha!